Good day, grade 12. So, hope you're doing well. Let's look at the tangent to a graph. So, yes, you've done this already. It's in grade 11. And um, a tangent is always a straight line. Doesn't matter which graph we are talking about. So, let's assume this is a graph. And the tangent is at that point. This is what we can know about the tangent. At that coordinate, the gradient will be the same for the graph and for the tangent. And another thing is, you will have to be given the x value at least for this point. So another thing is, we will have an x and a y coordinate at that point. Now, a tangent being a straight line, automatically we have that equation, right? y equals mx plus c. So you need the gradient and the y-intercept. My preferred way of cal doing this calculation is as follows, and you would remember this as well from grade 11, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So you have the gradient and a coordinate. And as you can see, we can get both at that point by doing calculations and using differentiation. So I'm working through a few examples out of exercise 9 to illustrate this. So work with me and let's do this. So the first one is question number 2. And it says that the function is minus 3x squared minus 2x plus 4. And the tangent touches at this coordinate. So negative 1 and 3. So this is life made easy. We already have the coordinate. All we need now is the gradient at that point. How do we get it? We work with the derivative. So derivative becomes negative 6x minus 2. And we want the gradient at that point. So we just substitute x equals negative 1 into this equation. That will give us a positive 6 minus 2 is a positive 4. So there we have the gradient and the coordinate. So now, in this nice equation, we just substitute what we have. So y minus 3 equals 4 times x minus a negative 1. Remember the brackets. So y minus 3 equals 4x it's a plus 1 plus, uh, it becomes a plus 4. So y equals 4x plus 7. And that's how easy it is to do these calculations. Let's look at the next one. Number 5. And it looks like this. They give us the function. It's also a parabola. And they tell us that x is equal to 1. So clearly you can see they only gave us the x coordinate, which is enough. But we still need to get the y um, of that coordinate, right? So first step is to do that. So you substitute 1 into your equation. So that you can calculate um, the rest of the coordinate. So this becomes negative 3 minus 10 plus 8. So it's minus 13 plus 8 is negative 5. So this gives us the full coordinates now, 1 and 5. The next step is to work with our derivative. So it becomes negative 6x minus 10. And we want the gradient at that point. So we substitute 1 into our derivative. So our gradient is negative 16. Now we're empowered to complete this question, right? So y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So y minus a negative 16. I mean the 5, my apologies. Equals negative 16x minus 1. So if 1 of y plus 5 equals negative 16x plus 16, so y equals negative 16x 
plus 11. So the next one is question number 10 and it's a cubic function. Now you will see it's a longer equation but in principle the calculations will remain the exact same. We still need the coordinate and the gradient at that point. Okay, so we have x equals 2 and we have our expression. So first things first, let's get the rest of that uh, coordinate. So now you just substitute 2 in to your equation. So this becomes negative 8 minus 4 plus 32 plus 16. So this becomes negative 12 plus 32 is 20 plus 16 is 36. So therefore we have our coordinate, right? Now the derivative. You can see this becomes negative 3x squared minus 2x plus 16. And to calculate the gradient at that point we substitute 2 in. and calculate. So this becomes a 4 times 3, negative 3 is negative 12 minus 4 plus 16. So this negative 16 plus 16 equals 0. Okay, great. So the moment you see this, you know you are at a turning point. Okay, remember, the gradient at the turning point is always 0. Okay, so let's say, for instance, here you have your graph. At that point, and at that point, both of the stationary points, the gradient will be 0. Now, let's say you missed this. Let's say you you forgot that. Okay, we can still just do the calculation, and it will be proven. It's a substitute. So y minus thirty six equals zero times x minus two. So as you can see, that becomes a zero. So you just have that equation left. So that's your equation um, for the tangent at the turning point. Let's do question 11. So it's number 11. So the question is draw this graph with all the intercepts and turning points and all of it, right? So you've been, um, so what do we need? Y intercept. First things first, to get the Y intercept, we make X zero, right? So it's 0 squared minus 2 times 0 minus 3, and it's equal to negative 3. So there we have the coordinate of the y-intercept. For the x-intercept, we make y 0, right? And now we can factorize. And get our x-intercept coordinates. Okay, now we just need the turning point. Okay, so in grade 11 you would have used the minus p over 2a to get to the x and from there on substitute into the equation to get to the y. Um, now we're basically doing the same thing except we're using differentiation, which is amazing, right? So now first things first, you get the derivative. And for the turning point, the, the um, derivative will always be equal to 0. So 0 equals 2x minus 2. So 2 equals 2x. x equals 1. Now we substitute 1 back into the original equation to get the y value at that point. So it's 1 minus 2 minus 3 is equal to minus 4. Okay, now we are sorted. Now we just need to draw. So I'm just doing a conceptual graph. I'm not doing it very accurately. I just want you to understand. So that's all negative one. That's one, two, three. That's one, two, three, four. Okay. So that's basically it. So we have our x intercept at negative one, the y intercept at negative three, the turning point at one and negative four, and the other x intercept at three, right? And that's how you can draw this graph very easily by using different
situation as well. Make sure you watch um, on the group. I'm posting a photo of how the minus BO2A, um, how it actually works and how it was proven. So make sure you have a look at that.